Shin Hatakeyama, The Great Wall. The Great Wall, Shin Hatakeyama. Have you ever what have you ever visited the Great Wall in China? Yeah. I have not only seen it, but I experienced it. I studied Chinese because my father moved to Japan from Taiwan when he was five. He didn't speak Chinese, but I became interested. Excitedly, I got a chance to work in China. A Japanese company sent me to manage an apparel factory. I was 29. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I was worried. There were 6,000 workers. And I had the only Japanese person. I had to ensure their production schedules and quality met Japanese standards. My first meeting, I was shocked. They spoke so fast. I couldn't catch up. I asked an executive to speak slowly. But he said, Why slow down for your poor Chinese girl? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I felt as if the Great Wall was built against me. What should I do? I'm able to find a solution. I walked around the production line. <laughs> I talked with many workers. They who told me new words and strike. And I learned that Chinese people may seem rude, but they are kind and honest. Six months later, When my assistant wasn't doing her job, I said, <laughs> What are you doing? It's your responsibility. She looked surprised, <laughs> kind of satisfied, because she had a chance to talk with me, heart to heart. And I Also surprised at my Chinese improvement. <laughs> I speak in Chinese very fluently. I worked happily in China for five years and returned to Japan. At first, I thought there was a great war against me, but I was wrong. I used the great war, <laughs> expecting special treatment. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see the great wall in your workplace or community? Change your attitude and break the wall. <laughs> <laughs>